Hi friends, Mindy here. I'm gonna be setting up my planner pages for the month of August. I am going to be using this paper that's over here on the left from By the Bull for God as my inspiration for this month. I'm gonna be doing kind of a little travel themed, I guess. And so I'm using this paper sort of for the color palette inspiration. And, um, and I just love that cute little camper. So you'll see some of that throughout this month as well. Started off with my Sharpie Creative Marker there and just um, wrote out my title page. And then I wanted to add just a little bit of detail on this page, nothing uh, you know, too difficult. I'm using this stamp. This is an old stamp from By the Will for God that's got, uh, it's called Campers, I think was the name of it. And then an old stencil. This has just got some cloud shapes. I'm us using um, tumbled glass, I believe it is. And I'm just adding kind of a hint of some clouds up here in the top half of this spread and then I'm going to add a little bit of color down here to my camper. I'm using distress crayons at this point and so I'm scribbling them down onto my craft mat and then I'm pulling them up with a water color, um, a water brush that's just got water inside it and um, it just ends up being you know kind of pale doing it this way. It works but uh, in the end I'll end up changing it to something else but you can kind of see I'm just going in and coloring that in so um, this stamp set is from the recent kit from by the wall for God called going places and I love this sweet little girl so I'm gonna stamp her here on my calendar spread this is my like month at a glance calendar and then I have some older stamp sets that I'm gonna be using as well this one I can't remember the name of it but this was from like take heed it's like a luggage um, stamp it um, it's from a while back and you can see it didn't stamp very clearly this time so I'm just going to go in with a micron pen and kind of fill in those lines where it didn't um, stamp out very well and then I'm going to come back to my calendar page and work on coloring in this image so I just love this little girl and the way she's just kind of standing I just think this stamp is so stinking cute and so I'm going to use this um, I switched to some watercolor pencils these are the distress watercolor pencils um, just because I wanted to be able to apply a little bit more intensity of color. And so it's easier to do that when you can actually color directly onto the page. Um, and so being able to get, you know, the finer point on that than you can with the distressed crayons, it just worked a little bit better. So again, you can see, I just went around kind of the outside, put my color down. I'm using my watercolor brush here to sort of pull that color dissolve that pigment into the center. I'm gonna be putting something in the middle there so um, I don't want to have it too dark. And then I'm just gonna go in and color the rest of this image. And I realize it's a little strange kind of maybe having her sort of floating up there, but I'm gonna add some other things to this page so it won't seem just like she's kind of floating Mary Poppins style off the page. But um, just going in here with some different colors, again, direct to paper, just adding the color and then going back through with my watercolor brush and then I added some blue to her skirt to look like a tumbled glass and then I'm going to go in and just use um, I'm going to pull the pigment right from the colored pencil and this will just allow me to get it even a more intense color I'm going to add a little bit of a darker area underneath the um, underneath the suitcase where it would naturally shadow and kind of in the folds of the skirt where those lines are. Um, just to give it a little dimension, it's hard to see on camera, but um, in real life it does help a little bit just to have a little bit more dimension that way. And then I'm using, these are the big tile alphas from By the Wall this month, and um, I'm just putting that this is August, and then these little smaller alphas um just it says to do as i know that's really you can't really read it but um and then i just kind of underlined that and then i'm using my sharpie creative markers again just to create my label for the days of the week across the top and then i'm going to go in with another color here and add the dates and once that is finished i decided i wanted to come in and give a little bit more of um a base on this left side so um I'm using this kind of a brainstorm section where I can, all the things that I kind of need to do this month, think certain specific tasks and stuff. Um, and so I'm using this, I believe this stencil is called Metropolis from Tim Holtz. It looks like a map. And um, so I'm just using that and I'll see, you'll see that throughout this, um, these planner spreads as well. So this is my page for video ideas and I kept that 
um, that luggage tag kind of blank for right now. I may go back in and color that. I'm not quite sure, but I want to be able to write and kind of brainstorm there. So that is for my YouTube ideas and my schedule. And then I, in the past, I was calling this a line a day. Um, but really I wanted to kind of change that up. So I'm just titling this page remember. So this is just something that I want to remember from each of the days that happened during this month. And then this next page is my project bingo page. I get asked about this a lot. These are just kind of different tasks and things that I want to do during the month. Um, I just write those all in and then I cross them off as they're done, but they don't have a specific date, if that makes sense. Just like, um, there's some decluttering and things that I want to do and, um, deep cleaning and that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then back over on this remember page i used that metropolis stencil along with tumble glass distress oxide and just kind of did that to the background just to give that a little bit of interest this page gets very busy once all the, the writing gets put on there um, but just to give it a little bit of color and then i use these small luggage tags and one of these cute little camper stickers from by the well just to bring a little bit of color in there um, a lot of these pages kind of I will maybe decorate as I'm going through the month it just sort of depends um, on how much room I need and that kind of stuff because my my planner is always utilitarian for me first I need to be able to use it so um, I I work kind of worry more about the usability of it than the aesthetic because I need to make sure I have room to write and record all the things and everything. So um, this is my first weekly spread and I'm using a flare marker over there for the days of the week and then I'm going to use a Sharpie creative marker here um, for the dates for August 5th through 11th and then um, I will add a little bit of interest down here at the bottom. I use this left side of this page um, as sort of a brainstorm, like all the things that kind of need to be d done for this week sort of get listed over here. If they don't have a specific time a fr frame attached to them, if it's kind of a flexible thing. And then as I'm going through my week, I will sort of look at what tasks I need to do and I'll move them into my calendar, if that makes sense. It's just a way to kind of brain dump all of the things that I need to do and so I'm using another old stamp set from By the Wolf for God. Um, I cannot remember what stamp set this is called either but just with some cute suitcases um, and just going through that same process using those same colors of watercolor pencils and the same process going through adding some some shading and different things and then I can still write over that if I need to. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through of how all of the pages turned out. I realized that I never went back through and colored in my luggage tag there so I may go ahead and, and do that um, off camera and then these are kind of how the pages ended up looking and then you'll see the few week spreads that I have here too. Really simple this month but just got a lot going on so um Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.